G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be journaling a two page Christmassy spread, a bit of a drawing and some watercolor and a little bit of mixed media there and some journaling. I am uh, I was reflecting today earlier on the fact that three years ago, I think it was three years ago, my math could be wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was three years ago. I um, had my first foray into paid teaching online. Uh, before that, I'd been doing tutorials on YouTube and just kind of been sharing a lot of what I enjoyed. Uh, but that was, um, I was invited to be a guest teacher in Mindy Lacefield's Goody Goody Gumdrops course, which was kind of a Christmas themed art journaling course. Ali Brown was also a guest teacher in that. And um, that, yeah, that marks the first time that I was uh, compensated for teaching in art journaling and mixed media, which uh, I was just kind of reflecting on today, the fact that, you know, now that I have so many different things going on and I've been teaching, uh, you know, not only guest teaching, but also teaching my own workshops and my own courses, it's been a really interesting experience just to kind of reflect on those few years and kind of the, I guess, the apprehension and the nerves I felt going into that <laughs> a few years ago and how that's changed and um, the kind of passion that I've developed for teaching uh, more recently. I think it's kind of one of those things like wine. Um, when you mature, it, it gets a lot better. <laughs> I um, Not to say that I was an immature teacher a few years ago. This is very green. And um, I think the first thing I probably would have told myself was to uh, not judge through such a, a harsh lens. I was always very, very, very scared. Um, and rightly so, because I would, I would judge so harshly. And I felt like I would be subject to that same judgment. Um, and this was not when I was teaching YouTube tutorials or anything like that, or what I would share for free. It was very specifically when money was involved. I've talked about this before with Patreon and stuff. Um, but when it becomes a financial transaction, the value there, I feel like has to be proven. And um, it's kind of a subjective thing to do, right? To do art. And uh, But there is kind of a way to find the value in teaching and it's still subjective though, so <laughs> it becomes really difficult. Anyway, that's not the conversation for today, but I was reflecting on all of that and it was a really interesting experience and especially after uh, Steve and I were on here a few weeks ago, around a month ago, maybe two months ago. Actually, it's probably a long time ago now. Uh, talking about pivoting, well, <clears throat> pardon me, pivoting, uh, teaching was one of those pivots that I had made a few years ago uh, whilst I was also setting up, you know, starting to manufacture my own product line. And it was uh, something that I wanted to add to my brand, not uh, not intentionally. It was not something I set out to do from the beginning. It was actually something I'd never really thought of. I thought maybe I could be an assistant to a teacher <laughs> or I could learn how to teach one thing and then go and teach that kind of like an instructor. Um, but anyway, it just kind of happened the way that it did. And I'm really glad that those were the doors that opened and those were the experiences and opportunities I had to learn from and to grow through. Uh, we've done many, many things since then, like the Patreon experiences, the Merry Mix Media online courses, my Whimsical Illustration course, like first big massive one that I did um, for my own brand. It, it's all been an interesting experience, but I have found a real passion for teaching. And I guess maybe not even teaching. I, I, I want to be more specific than that because I don't want people to think I just love to teach things. I, um, I do enjoy it. I enjoy the teaching. What I really, really love about it is sharing, uh, the joy and sharing the excitement and sharing in that. And the teaching comes because there are certain, things that are bringing me a lot of joy that I have to kind of teach so that we can enjoy them together. <laughs> Does that make sense? I guess that makes me a really selfish teacher because I only want to teach the things that I really enjoy, but it makes me a very passionate teacher. So hopefully that's something that uh, comes through. Anyway, let's not, uh, let's not go too far with that. I did want to hijack my voiceover for a few other things, but that is what I'm drawing today. If you did that Goody Gum Drops course, uh, you'll have re you kind of see some of these visuals on there, the deer, um, the girl with the antler headpiece and uh, yeah, the color palette being pinks and teals and blues. Uh, I, come, I wanted to not reinterpret it because I didn't, I loved the way that I did it the first time, but I wanted to reimagine it for today. Um, not in a style, not like in a more refined way or anything. Because to be honest, you know, I can change styles at the drop of a hat. <laughs> It's not like I wanted to see, you know, oh, from 2017 to 2020, because to be honest, I could change from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. So it's it's not to contrast them in any way. It was just, I guess it was on my mind uh, since I was reflecting 
of reflecting on it. And I wanted to bring some of that imagery into my journaling so that I could um, just remember it and just kind of relive that experience for a little bit. So very inspired by that. Thank you again. This is so random to say thank you again, but thanks, Mindy. Um, we can all blame Mindy Lacefield for the fact that I'm still traipsing around the internet teaching things. <laughs> I really enjoy it though. Anyway, um, so let's hijack the voiceover. I wanted to tell you a couple of things. First thing is um, this is officially like winding down. My busy season is finished. Fall is completed. And I'm really excited to kind of just, uh, have a lot of the Christmas off. I'll still, you'll still see me around on YouTube, obviously, um, and Instagram and I'll, I'll pop around on social media, but pardon me, sorry, I'm dealing with allergies over here. Um, I wanted to let you know that if there is any time where you're just kind of, you know, looking for extra content, <laughs> <laughs> um, apart from like the teachable where I have all my courses, um, I'm talking about just like random content just to have it on the background and just to watch. I'm not sure if there's anyone here that's actually seen every single one of my videos. And more recently I found that you can't actually scroll through my channel to get to the older ones now. Um, that I think YouTube have kind of stopped being able to scroll through the channel history for a lot of channels because they just want to promote the newer videos. So I've made an entire playlist with every single one of the videos I've uploaded since my first, um, my unboxing for the Jane Davenport design team. Goodness, can you remember that? <laughs> Um, an interesting video to watch. Uh, but yeah, so it, it, they're all in a one big playlist and I think there's 495 videos in there. Um, I'll pop this one in there too. I'm going to try and just keep adding them as we go. So if there are old videos that you've never seen before that, you know, obviously wouldn't pop up because YouTube's not going to recommend them after they're old, but, um, yeah, there are tons in there. There's tons, tons, tons. I've got a bunch of different playlists, but that one specifically has every single video. So, um, go check that out. If there's ever a moment where you're just, uh, hope that I would upload something, but it's not a Friday. Um, there's a playlist for you there. I wanted to also mention that Merry Mix Media, I've been working hard on that for a couple of weeks now, and I'm really excited to share what I've come up with. I don't have an official date for it, but it is free, 99, dollars $0. So don't worry, no one's going to miss out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my hope is to get it up relatively early. Um, I know people aren't really starting Christmas in the States until after Thanksgiving. I have learned that over the four years that I've lived here, but um, I, I want to get it up relatively early. It's only a mini course. It's just a few fun things to do. I just like to open that up to people so that uh, you can get a feel for what it's like to be a part of one of my regular workshops, whether it's a virtual voyage experience or uh, one of these self-study workshops that I do. I like to uh, get people familiar with Teachable and also um, it is my way to give back in, um, yeah, in a nice way to give back around Christmas. So that is coming out soon. There are also two other Merry Mix Medias if you want to go and check that out on social media. A social media? No, Teachable. <laughs> <laughs> my teachables linked down below. You can do those courses. Those are still open and still free. Anyway, uh, the last thing I'm going to say is Etsy. I'm not planning on stocking anything in the Etsy store until 2021 because I have a few things that I want to make and stock. And I'm going to give myself the entire Christmas period to do that relatively slowly and uh, enjoy that process a little bit. Sometimes it gets really hectic designing a lot of stuff while I'm doing a lot of other work. So I'm going to take my time designing that and um, just enjoying that process slowly and then restock for next year. At this point, it's probably a little too late for me to do all the orders and get them in before Christmas anyway. So I will keep the store open. We're still only doing domestic shipping, so that's US only. I know I've mentioned this before and I've still got it written in my bio for the shop, but we're not doing international shipping still. Um, and I do, I do respect that I get a lot, a lot, a lot of messages about it <laughs> and a lot of people, um, telling me what other stores are doing and I can fully appreciate how everyone's decided to make those decisions, but I will just reiterate that it is not something I felt that I wanted to risk financially with my store. So I'm still keeping that closed until I see a time where it would be less risky to, send my international orders. Believe me, I don't want to exclude customers from purchasing from this store. It literally goes against why it's in existence, but I will, um, I'll of course mention that whenever uh, it becomes available again. So yeah, there's stuff still in the Etsy store, but there won't be any big restocks and new items coming until 2021. And I think that's everything I've got mentioned. We had a wonderful fall season. I'm really excited to get really heavy into Christmas. I'll see you where I see you, whether it's on Teachable, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on YouTube, I'll see you there. Bye.